I'm gonna dance around him while he I'm gonna dance around him while he tried to hit me with his cane. Oh man. Derek is very rude person. But soon he will learn manners. I will torture his body so that his soul learns to be humble. God chose me for this fight. God is the teacher. Derek is the student and I am God's instrument. Everything you just watched was made in a few minutes using two new AI features. 2025 was without question the year that AI storytelling took off, and channels that were able to take advantage of this changing trend saw significant growth like never before. Channels like Hominid History, which is already closing in on 100 million views from long-form content alone, and NextGen Process, which is also clocking 20 million in two months, and even documentary-style videos that were impossible to create, suddenly became possible. Even the finance niche made a comeback with the help of AI animation. Honestly, the numbers on these AI storytelling channels are without question the highest we've seen all year. And I should know because I've honestly covered and researched most of the hottest trends this year. Now what does this mean going into 2026? The answer is pretty obvious. AI storytelling is going to have a bigger role to play in faceless content creation, especially now that YouTube is integrating their AI models like VEO3, Inside Shorts, and from the way it's going, long form eventually. So with all of these changes going on, what can you do to make it as a content creator in 2026? Well, you need to learn how to create better quality AI stories than your competitors. The tools are there, but most people don't know how to use them properly to create those outstanding videos. And if you've been following the latest trends and advancements in AI video creation, you've probably heard about Higgsfield's new game-changing feature called Cinematic Studio, as well as Kling AI's new version 2.6 update. These tools are changing how filmmakers, designers, and creators like ourselves create real cinematic images and videos. I mean, just take a look at this trailer. Merry Christmas. It could easily pass as a professional trailer that was made by one of these big Hollywood studios. But the funny thing is that this was made completely with this new cinematic studio feature. Another feature that's equally mind-blowing is Kling AI's motion control. For those of us who don't want to show our faces on YouTube or on social media in general, this simplifies the entire process. You can actually record yourself and replace with whichever character that you want to use. It'll keep the same mannerisms and even the speech. Let me actually show you how to really take advantage of these new features. Open Higgsfield AI in your browser and create an account. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you look at the homepage, you'll notice the new features at the top. There's Kling's motion control and then the Cinema Studio. We'll take a look at the first one later, but let's start with Higgsfield Cinema Studio. It's been included in the menu bar as well, so you can easily select it from there. As you can see, I've been having a bit of fun with it. At the bottom, you'll notice the option for image and video. Let's start with the image feature. Cinema Studio now makes it easier than ever to create cinematic shots with AI. Now you can serve as the director of your image or movie. Use the right camera that produces is the results that you want. If you click this button, you'll notice a number of professional camera options, lenses, and even the focal length. You can now choose whether you want to use a Sony Venice, a Raptor, IMAX, and many other professional options. What this means is that you can generate images with similar results as you would if they were taken from any of these cameras. Not only that, they've also included different lens and focal length options to give you much more control over the result. Let's try out the IMAX camera. I'm going to be using the ancient history niche as an example, so maybe a prompt like an intense scene of an ancient hominid fighting a fierce and angry tiger. I'll hit generate and check out this cool shot that it's created. The background is slightly blurred to focus more on the interaction between the character and tiger, which is pretty cool. The entire scene looks realistic, with the tiger pouncing on the character while he also tries to spear it. Let's see the kind of results we'll get from the other cameras. These first three look pretty similar, but the other three have their own unique style, so you can try them out for exactly what fits your specific scene. Now if we change the camera lens, this is the result that it gives us. The results look amazing, but one other thing that makes this even more badass is the multi-shot feature. What this does is that it gives you nine different cinematic angles for any shot that you choose. 
Let me show you how that works. Hover over any image and you'll see some options including the multi-shot. Simply click that and Cinema Studio will get started creating shots for different angles. What's pretty cool about this is that you don't need to spend time crafting prompts for different angles of the characters and background. Cinema Studio will take care of all that, as you can see. From these results, both the character and the tiger remain consistent throughout and the background is also the same. If you like any of the images and you want to upscale them, simply click them and hit this upscale button. Simple as that. So from one single image, you now have multiple shots from different angles without the need to reprompt the AI. This isn't limited to images that have fully been generated by the AI. You can actually bring in your own characters. In this case, I'm going to use these two characters and give it a very simple prompt. Both characters are fighting in a boxing ring. The first character punches the second, not forgetting that smile. Check out this image. It nails both characters perfectly, their facial features, clothing, and most importantly, the background and lighting. The result is actually incredible. Check out the multiple shot version of the scene as well. This is completely badass. We have shots from the back of the character, front, and even an aerial view. So as you can see, this feature makes the entire image creation process easier than ever. I prompted for a shot of the same characters in a police car involved in a chase and look at this result. Even light reflections from behind the character and the one at the top are all showing, which is really impressive. Spend some time with this and test out different options that will work for something you have in mind. At this point, it's actually possible to create real cinematic movies. Let's check out the video feature. First, there's an option to choose from multiple camera movement options. This way, you don't get something random at the end. Choose a handheld camera motion style, pan left, orbit around, a drone shot, or any other option that fits your scene. The duration can go up to 10 seconds with sound and you even get the option to toggle between slow motion and normal movement. You can choose a start frame and even include an end frame if you want to. I'm simply going to use a start frame. If you already have an image you want to use, go ahead and upload it or even choose from the generated images. Another option is to go back to images and then set the one you want to use as the start frame or end frame. I'll add something simple like this for the prompt and hit generate. Check out this incredible result. The drone footage starts from the first frame and then goes all the way over the vehicle creating a really cool camera movement. And look at the environment. Lighting, physics, and everything including the sound of the siren seem on point. Check out this dolly out camera option as well. It looks amazing. If you don't learn to take advantage of this feature, you're going to get left behind in this fast growing AI content market. Now it's time to try Kling AI's new motion control. Make sure it's selected from Higgsfield's homepage. You'll be presented with this video generation page. The first thing you need to do is to upload the reference video. So if you've recorded yourself talking or doing something, this is where you'll upload that file. Right below that is the character image. Just as the name suggests, it's the image of the character that you want to replace with the one in the video. If you don't have one, you can always use Google's Nano Banana to generate one or even change the background like I did. Once the character has been uploaded, you can include a prompt for the background, but that's optional, so choose the quality of your video and hit generate. It may take a couple of minutes, but check out this result. The character flows smoothly with the original footage, which is pretty cool. You can use this feature for a bunch of things, but as faceless content creators, we can now go beyond stiff avatars to really expressive ones. Simply head over to Higgsfield and start creating. Now, if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can push this information to others who might also be needing it. Anyway, thank you and see you in the next one.